A state panel took the first steps towards setting new levels to be considered safe for two contaminants found in drinking water. But as Ed Rogers tells us in tonight's environment report, there are those who say the process isn't moving fast enough. At its meeting last week, a state panel took the first step toward recommending a tough new standard for toxic chromium in drinking water. A subcommittee of the Drinking Water Quality Institute called for making the safety level more than 100 times stricter. It's unclear how prevalent chromium is in the state's drinking water supply, but environmentalists believe if adopted, the water standard would actually require more thorough cleanups of chromium-contaminated sites. So that drinking water standard would translate into a one part per million soil cleanup standard. And currently the, the standard is, there's a voluntary standard of 20 in place and the formal standard is 240 parts per million. So it's a dramatic, it would represent a dramatic reduction. There's two types of chromium. There's trivalent chromium and when trivalent comes into contact with water, it turns into hexavalent, which is the most serious carcinogen. And so it goes from a relatively benign chemical to one that really affects public health. In a memo, that same subcommittee indicated that it was moving toward recommending an even tighter safety level for the main additive in Teflon and stain-resistant products. DuPont once used the substance called PFOA at its Deepwater Salem County facility. The chemical has been found in some nearby wells. It's been called a likely carcinogen by the federal EPA. Last week, a University of West Virginia study showed that children and teens with a higher blood level of the chemical appear more likely to have higher cholesterol levels. Last year, the state DEP tested 30 public water supplies for PFOAs. Department officials say they aren't releasing the results of that sampling until an internal review and report are completed. There's no word when that will be finished. Environmentalists say the results should be released. This is data. It's not, uh, it's factual. Uh, it's not deliberative. Uh, what the data means might be deliberative, but those numbers should be put out in the public domain and, and should have been already. Studies are only good if they get implemented, and that's what we really need to have happen. We have, we've had enough studies over the years. We know it's a pervasive problem in New Jersey, and we need to help protect the water for the people in New Jersey. In a statement, the Chemistry Council of New Jersey raised a concern about how the process will move forward and at what point the industry will have input on any new standards for PFOAs. Even if both of these recommendations are made, they face a number of regulatory hurdles before adoption. Environmentalists believe treatment for the pollutants could begin now with existing technology. The current regulatory system does not enable that to happen because you have to do one chemical at a time. And DP sampling shows there's over 500 chemicals typically present in, a water, uh, in, the, in our water supply. So that literally could take hundreds of years. We need to take a much more precautionary and preventative approach, um, and that's, that's a long time in coming. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.